Hey everyone, I'm back. So today, I got a product for y'all that we're gonna actually try out together. And this is a new lace spray that I got put on to. Now y'all know I'm a lace spray girl. So when I saw this and when it was presented to me, I had to jump on it. Now y'all already know I'm already on that even train when it comes to lace sprays, but I wanted to see if there was something equally as good as those sprays. Has to be. So, what I want to present to y'all, goat spray. I want to do work with me. Oh. Now, this product is supposed to have an extreme hold. It lasts one to four days. And you can use it for your ball cap and just to melt your lace. With all that being said, we're going to see if this product really holds up. And if it can kind of boot even about the way. Or at least come close. Let's test it out. So how I'm going to test this out is I'm going to apply it um, and then I'm just going to wear it for the max amount of days that I can possibly wear it for. And then I'm going to record every day so y'all can see how this spray is holding up throughout the days. Simple enough. First, we're going to do like a little test just to see what the stickiness is looking like. You know, let's, let's see if this is going to hold. Alright, so I put some on my hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um. Dang, over. Let me, let me speed this up right quick. Hold on. That's better. Sticky, y'all. Uh, that's a good little grip, grip. I'm a little excited. Look at that. Ooh. A little excited. All right, so let's start with the application. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is rub off all the oils or lotions that's on your forehead, um, and you want to use at least like witch hazel, rubbing alcohol, or just soap and water. Now you wanna put the wig on your head and kind of place it where you want to and then put some clips where your edges are so you can keep the hair from getting trapped into that glue. Now, you wanna go section by section. I always start in the middle first, one layer, two layer, three layer, four. It's like, no, um, I'm just gonna do like two layers because I've never used this before. So I think two should be okay. Any more than that, you know, might not be that good of a spray. Then you just wanna guide the spray with your fingers and just spreading it out. Now here's what I will say is that this spray is thick. So you don't get a lot of running, which I appreciate so much. Now you want to blow dry on cool, cool y'all. I had a couple people in my TikTok comments talking about they've been burning their forehead up because they've been doing this part on hot. It ain't been working. That's why, sweetie. And then I just kind of test it out to make sure that it's tacky. That is when you want to lay down the lace is when it feels tacky. And in the earlier test we did, what I put on my hand, we already know this gets very tacky. So, yeah. <laughs> Now here I like to take the end of a comb or a edge brush and just press down on it so it's seeping into my skin. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing on both of the sides now, one at a time. Something I did notice about this spray is that it dries very quickly and it dries clear so there is no white residue.
Okay, so now you want to take out those clips in your hair and we're going to give it another spray, but like in between the hair. So we get that extra security on top. And then you want to blow dry everything on cool until it is completely dry. This is so important because this is how y'all get that white residue because you don't let it completely dry. And then you put the wig band or a scarf on and it comes out white. You're looking flaky. Wait for it to dry. This is the most important step. You need to tie down your edges with a wig band or a scarf. This is what helps and makes it melt like the celebrities do. And you just let that sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. I decide to eat some Girl Scout cookies. Shout out to the Girl Scouts. Them peanut butter patties are life. Um, but you know, inflation, them things is $5 now, it's crazy. But yeah, just do that and wait. All right, my 15 minutes are up, so I'm going to take off my scarf. Let's see the results. Bam. Come on now. Y'all, that is my skin. That is my skin. Look at that melt. That melt is crazy. And please don't mind the yellowness. It's because I overbleached it. Mind your business. But goat spray? Okay. I see y'all. This is a good melt. This is crazy. Um, I like this. I don't know. Even might be getting the boot. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I'm not gonna lie. I, yeah, yeah, like this is, this is beating out a lot of those sprays that I, you know, used before, like where I wouldn't even look twice at those anymore if this was what I have. I'm not gonna lie. The grip, if you want a facelift, you want, you want a facelift? For the low, get this, because baby, that grip is, <sighs> that grip is gripping. Oh my gosh. I'm not even over, I just, I really did not think, I'm so serious y'all. Like when I got the product, um, I really didn't think, I'm thinking, you know, cause I'm, I'm, I'm even the black can all day. Like can nothing come to, to it. I don't know y'all. <laughs> I don't know. This might, this might be catching up. This might be knocking the big black out, out, out the ringer. Listen, the melt, great. The hold, awesome. Like, bruh, baby, look at me. I'm like, yes, it's the late, it's that. Well, I'm really excited about this product. So what I'm going to do, just like I've done every other video, is I'm going to wear this for a couple days, see how it goes, see how long it lasts, when it starts lifting, and then I'm going to report back to you later. But y'all, I'm rocking with GOAT because it's rocking with us. This thing, I, I've got high hopes for you. Don't let me down. <laughs> Bye.